unit circle and the 45, 45 degree angles. So we're still here in our unit circle. Unit circle because we have one unit for as our radius. One unit. Now this time we're going to tackle about 45, 45, 90 degrees angle. So let us find the different 45, 45 degree angles in our unit circle. First, we have here the 45 degree angle. Next, 45 plus 45 the 90. 90 plus 45, we have the 135. 135 plus 45, 180. 180 plus 45, we have 225. 225 plus 45, 270, 270 plus 45, we have 315 and 360. But this time, we're going to focus on 45, 45 angle. Where are we going, where are we going to find that angle? These are the angle form. If we're going to connect our point to the x-axis and to the origin. This is now our angle. Our principles in the 45, 45, 90 degree angle, our two legs are congruent. So this side is equal to this side. Now, this time, unit circle, our radius is equal to 1. That means our hypotenuse from the origin to our point is equal to 1. 1 unit. We're going to find the length of the two sides. Since they are equal, let's say it is x and another x. Okay. Let's solve what is the value of x using this figure. So this is 1, x, and x. The two sides are equal. Now, since we have a right triangle, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find what is the value or what is the length of x. What is the Pythagorean theorem? We have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Or a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. c refers to our longest side, which is 1. And the two sides, the value is x. x squared plus x squared. 1 is squared, 1 is equal to x squared plus x squared. That is 2x squared. Divide by 2 and 2 will give us 1 half is equal to x squared. Remove this, this square, so we need to extract the square root. So square will be cancelled out, so x is equal to square root of 1 over square root of 2. We need to rationalize because it is not allowed to use the square root in the denominator. So we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 2 is equal to our x. 1 times 2, so that is square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 will give you square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, the value of x or the unit of x is square root of 2 over 2. So here, we have square root of 2 over 2. And this side is also square root of 2 over 2. Okay. <clears throat> so let us find the coordinates of the 45, 45, 90 angle. Here, since this is located in quadrant 1, the coordinate is square root of 2 over 2. Positive. And the value of y square root of 2 over 2. 
Quadrant 2, 135. The sign of quadrant 2 is negative positive. So negative square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. Negative positive, 135. Quadrant 3, quadrant 3, negative negative. So we have negative square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. Negative. Quadrant 4, 315. Positive negative. So we have square root of 2 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay. Now we are done in our coordinates. Again, Recall that our x coordinate indicates our cosine, y coordinate indicates our sine. And now let's recall the trigonometric functions. Cosine is equal to our x, sine theta is equal to our y, tangent is equal to y over x, second, the reciprocal of cosine, 1 over x, cosecant, the reciprocal of sine, 1 over y, cotangent, the reciprocal of tangent, x over y now this time we're going to solve okay let's try solve number one the question is sine 45 degrees sine indicates our value of y where is 45 locate 45 x y so that means sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2 number 2 cosine 315 locate 315 315 cosine is for the value of x x square root of 2 over 2 Number three, tangent 45 degrees. So tangent is tangent y over x. 45 y over x. Square root of 2 over 2 all over x. Square root of 2 over 2. Since they are the same fraction, so let us solve. Copy the numerator. Square root of 2 over 2 times the reciprocal of the denominator. 2 over square root of 2. Simplify. We can cancel 2. And we can also cancel the square root of 2, square root of 2. So that is equal to 1. For example, cotangent 315 degrees. Cotangent is x over y. x is square root of 2 over 2 all over negative square root of 2 over 2. Same process, copy the numerator, square root of 2 over 2 times the reciprocal, negative 2 over square root of 2. Cancel out, square root of 2 over square root of 2. Negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1. Let's check our answer using calculator. Sine 45. Sine 45. So, square root of 2 over 2. Next, cosine 315. Cosine 315. Square root of 2 over 2. Next, tangent 45. Tangent 45. 1. Next, cotangent 315. Shift tangent 315. Hmm? Stop myself. <laughs> 